October 18, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and eight months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 602 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. Ukraine appears to have opened a foothold on the east bank of the Dnieper. U.S. cluster munitions lighten the load for the clearance of Zaporizhia. Ukraine reports 64 combat engagements in the last 24 hours. Dnieper Line Kremlin mouthpiece Rybar, translated fisherman, has reported that Ukrainian troops have made a small bridgehead into the right bank. While details are unconfirmed by the Ukrainian side, Kremlin mouthpieces are already claiming that the attack is being rebuffed and destroyed. Zaporizhia Front This front has been quiet for the last two days. The Kremlin has made a number of attacks, but nothing of note has exchanged hands. East Front, Donetsk Good news for Ukraine across this front, as all new Kremlin assaults were repelled in the last three days. North of Avdiivka, Ukraine restored control over the rail line. From the entire attack, the Kremlin gained nearly no ground. The small tree lines gained came at the cost of an estimated 150 tanks, 50 to 80 artillery pieces, 150 armored vehicles of all types, at least to air vehicles, and far worse, 4,500 infantry permanently out of combat. Hero Yim Slava. Bakhmut area. With the focus on Avdiivka neither side has spent much time talking about this city, or surroundings. Some probing attacks were attempted by both sides. No line changes were reported. Oskil border front. The Kremlin continues to push Ukrainian troops near Kupiansk, likely because this area is closest to the Russian factories and meat farms. Ukraine does record another minor advance by Kremlin troops, in attempts to take the rail lines. Northern border. Kursk region is speaking of rumors that Kremlin equipment sent to the border to create fortifications, is being routinely destroyed by unknown persons. Elsewhere in Kursk, Ukraine's SBU reported that drones undertook a one-way mission to pretenderize the Kremlin's meat waves. Video footage showed multiple explosions close to air defense systems. The Kremlin reports that 28 drones were shot down in Kursk, with no casualties. The SBU believes they inflicted significant losses on Kremlin troops. No footage from the targeted facility has been released. Black Sea Ukraine continues to fire missiles against Kremlin occupiers in Sevastopol. Also, Ukraine's first recorded use of attacks destroyed Kremlin helicopters on the ground in Berdyansk. Reports of numbers destroyed vary between six and nine aircraft, as well as an unidentified number of soldiers. The image on the screen appears to show no less than eight vehicles, possibly more than ten. Video footage, which may have been from the field, only clearly shows three different fires, but each with multiple rocket munition cook-off events suggesting nearly random damage. Ukraine world-related. Sweden is sounding willing to send Gripens to Ukraine, upon final entrance to NATO. As noted last week, Germany sent an aid package worth 1 billion euro and is finalizing legislation to help Ukrainian refugees enter the German workforce. The White House has requested that Congress allow 60 billion in arms and aid to Ukraine for 2024. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.